And now let's master the Explorer. To open the Explorer, I just need to press Command Shift and E and I am on the Explorer. First, I don't want to have this opened editors. And what is that? Actually, if you open any file, save it, it will stay in the space of editor. But if you are not saving that file, you can see it is in italic. Once I save it, it's not italic. And that means once I open a file, if it is in italic, that means it will not staying here. As soon as I click on any other file, it replaces there. But if I save this, it is staying in an open editors. And I don't want to have this one because I know what file I have opened. Or if I want to open another file, I can easily open that by using command and P. So if I want to open app.js, I can say app and it is now here let's go here and yeah you can see it is now there if i want to open index.js i can search for command p index.js yep enter and yeah here so i don't want this one so i can just right click here and click on open editors which is now unchecked it's removed i have never used outline so i can just remove that also i can remove this timeline Yes. And now you can see it is very, very clear. So as we know, if you want to remove any file from this editing space, or if you want to close a file, you just need to press command and W like this. Once again, command W, command W, command W. And if you want to open the file, you don't have to use your mouse to go here. You can just search for command P. Let's say uh, this uh, sidebar is closed and if you know that you want to open app.js command P app and yep yeah, it is there and it is staying here. If you want to make sure it will stay you just need to press command S and yeah it is here. Next once again I want to open the index.js like this. But suppose you don't know which file you want to open and you want to explore the files from your uh, uh, explorer you need to open the explorer and yes you can open it by toggling the sidebar or just press command shift and e and here you can see once you press command shift e you can see it is now focused here and i can use my up and down arrow to move into the files and the directories if I want to close any directory, I can just press left key to close and right key to open it. Now, if I want to open any file, I can press command and down key to open any file. Once again, as I open the file, the focus is now from the explorer to my editor. But once again, if I want to get into the focus of the explorer, I don't have to use any mouse just press command shift e and you are here you can see i can now change so this is how you can open and close file without using your mouse but sometimes what happen if you have lots of directories and you have opened lots of directory you want to close every directory in one go so you have this button which is actually called collapse folders in explorer if i press it you can see everything is now closed. How I can do this with the keyboard shortcut? We know to open the keyboard shortcut, we have a command K, command S. If you forward this, you can open the activity bar, command shift A, press here on the gear icon, and here is the keyboard shortcut. Let's close the activity bar, close the sidebar, and now see. I want to collapse the folder so collapse yeah collapse is here but it's actually doing lots of collapsing but I want to collapse folder in explorer so I can search for collapse folder yeah this one it didn't have any key binding let's add it so how I want to add any key binding so remember key binding should be with the thing you want to do I want to collapse folder so this should be with a combination of some hotkeys like command cf or control cf alt cf 
you can do command shift c f so uh, once again it depends upon if there is availability for that command so now i search for command c f but there is command c and command f this is available uh, alt c and alt f this is also available so it's up to you what you want i like to have a alt c and f let's press enter and now close this and we know to close any tab we use command w to open the explorer command shift e and now i want to collapse this without using my mouse so i am editing i'm doing something here but suddenly i want to close everything from this explorer i say alt c f you can see alt means with a hotkey collapse folder very very nice and i have collapsed the all the folders if anything is opened one more thing is there you can see i know that i can close any file with the command w then why should i have this cross icon here or close icon here i don't want to use this and if i remove that it will actually looks good and it will be minimal so once again go to command s for setting and i want to search for close let's say button okay so it says close button close button tab close button is here it says it is on the right you can move it on the left side but i don't want to show it so i can have it off so it is now closed okay so this is closed and what if i want to close any uh, any tab i can simply say command w wow very nice in that way we are forcing ourselves to use keyboard instead of mouse so that is the power of actually using keyboard and that is actually psychology that you are minimizing everything to forcing yourself to use the keyboard and now suppose by mistake you closed any tab or any file you don't want to close so suppose i have closed the index but i don't want to close the index i want to reopen it yes you can search and reopen it but if you can press command shift and t you can see we have the previous closed tab opened once again so if i close service worker.js by mistake if i want to get it back i can have command shift t and if i close two windows then as we have closed we can get them back like this so it is very very useful when you want to open the recently closed file and you don't have to search that file you don't have to go to the explorer actually you always want to close the explorer